Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In the previous videos, we have discussed about table basics, about the columns and rows and we have discussed the data definitions. So in this video, we will learn about the default values in our database tables columns. A column can be assigned a default value and when a new row is created means one data is added to table and no values are specified for some of the columns okay so automatically those columns will be filled with their respective default values that we specify during the creation of a table a dml command can also request explicitly that a column can be set to its default value without having to know what that value is so we'll learn about the dmls in upcoming videos as well we need to remember that for a column if there is no default value is specified or declared during the creation of the table so the by default value is the null value if we don't pass any value then the default value will be null so uh, this usually makes sense because a null value can be considered to represent unknown data so there is no data for that column we'll see them with examples in the table definitions so let's uh, start with our first example okay in our first video when we discussed about table basics we had created this particular table uh, product table with three columns product number name and price so to this we can extend this using default value so how we can rewrite this table we can rewrite this table as this okay so in this case what we are doing uh, we are giving the default value as 9.9 .9 to the price value for example when we add any new product and we don't specify the price of a product so the default price would be 9.99 .9. the default value can be an expression which will be evaluated whenever the default value is inserted not when the table is created we need to remember this because whenever we create a table there is no data in a table common example is for a timestamp column to have a default value that current timestamp so that it gets set to the time of the row insertion for example if we don't add in this case when we don't pass any value to added on a value timestamp so the default timestamp would be picked up as current timestamp shortly we will see with example as well let me prepare an example okay so i have one insert statement here to add into the product so if you can see i am not giving any value for price and added on we'll expect the value to be added from the default values that we have declared okay so first we need to create the table let me create the table first okay the table is created now i'll insert the data okay the row is inserted now let's check the data what we can see here is the product number we had given it is added as one and the product name we have given as pain but the price and the added on value we haven't provided they are inserted through the default values another common example is generating a serial number for each row in PostgreSQL this is typically done by something called sequence so a sequence is also database object we we'll learn about sequence in details when we cover the chapter of sequence but for now I'll show you this this is a typical syntax of creating a sequence create sequence then sequence name and as integer the data type of sequence and there are obviously other parameters as well so I'm not explaining them as of now so how we can use the sequence in this case we can use the sequence in creation of default values like this default next well and then the sequence name the next well function supplies the successive values from a sequence object we we'll learn about the sequences in the upcoming videos so now let's see an example of it here we can create a table called products 2 everything is same except the sequence value that i am creating by default for the product number okay we need to create the sequence first the sequence is created we can see the sequence from here our sequence is created here and then we can create the table called products 2 using that sequence so i'm creating the product 2 table okay the table is also created now i'll insert a data into this table okay so our table is products 2 i'm providing only name value because product number will be created automatically through the sequence that we have defined and other values are also left as default as in the previous table so now let's add this data okay the data is inserted now let's check the data as we can see here that product is created with the product number as one and all the default values now let's create another data the product number 
would be created as two and other details as it is see here so we have created two data here using default sequence the product number and the product name is book price and the default time also this can be achieved that we can generate serial numbers without using sequence in postgresql we have a serial type so let's see an example of that the syntax of serial type how we use it we use it in the create table statement column name and then serial so the serial keyword will generate the values in serial one two three four like this so let's see an example of this we can create a table called products three and we can define product number as serial so automatically the serial values will be generated and we have left everything as it is so now let's insert some data into this table so first let's create the table the table is created now let's insert two values into the table the values are inserted now we need to check the value okay so we can see here as we did same thing from sequence and we did the same thing using the serial we will discuss about serial type and also sequences when we cover their respective chapters here we saw that serial and sequences both did the same thing but there is a common difference between sequence and serial first is that sequence is a database object but serial is a data type and the major difference is that using sequence we can control the start value end value and increment value as well but which is not available in the serial so we'll see them with examples when we cover the sequence chapter and serial chapters so if the video was helpful, do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming videos. In the next video, we'll discuss about the identity columns in database tables in PostgreSQL database. These identity columns are commonly used to generate key values automatically. So let's meet in the next video with the identity columns chapter. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.